What's going on guys? I just want to put out a very brief video regarding this game called The Day Before. Now, first of all, let me say this. This game is very sus, but I do believe it's a game. There's some people who believe that it's not a game. I do believe this company is actually creating this game. They have made games before, uh, not on this level. That's one of the things, they have never made a game like this before. Now, we know absolutely nothing about this game. Absolutely nothing. They keep coming out basically changing a few words, but basically uh, regurgitating the same thing over and over and over again now i believe this is supposed to start out as a pc exclusive and then it's supposed to come to the consoles later so they claim but this company uh the, the publisher is tba and the developer is gi they have never made anything on this level before now this game looks like uh uh it's supposed to be a, a zombie apocalypse type game that looks a lot like the division and the game it looks it looks good it looks interesting it looked like it has uh, a lot of uh, uh great components for a great game but what's unusual is as little as they've shown us this game stays at steam's it, it, it is the, the the number two most anticipated game on steam and I refuse to believe that's casuals. I don't believe casuals even know about this game. I don't believe even semi-casuals know about this game. Semi-casuals meaning there are people who play games all the time, especially people who have like one game that they play like Madden or FIFA or something like that. And they play games almost every day, but they don't keep up with the media like we do, like gaming hobbyists do. Like because we're hobbyists, we not only like playing games we like and we want to know everything about the gaming uh, industry as gaming hobbyists we know about this industry's history of companies with a legacy with a history of putting out games that we love also putting out bombs i mean look at bethesda you know yeah they they have a history of putting out great games with bugs but fallout 76 was a totally different story it was it was a prime reason it was it was a prime uh example of why you should not go out and pre-order games why you should not be putting your heart into these games until they release okay if, if you keep doing that they're of course they're going to keep doing this because their whole goal is to make money Look at CD Projekt Red. Look at their legacy with The Witcher and all of that. Yet they put out Cyberpunk in the state that they did. The game wasn't even playable. I mean, that was a, 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 a huge debacle. Look what they did. And then they went through all of that and still ended up when they updated The Witcher. You would think that after going through all of that, that The Witcher would have been perfect. That's what a lot of people was thinking. Like there's no way they're gonna mess this up. But they did mess it up. Now it wasn't like the cyberpunk, it, you know, I don't want to get all, I don't want to exaggerate like that, but you get the idea. Now, how, you, how are you going to go out and, and buy this game from this really mystery company who hasn't put out hardly any information about the game, seem to be uh, uh, intentionally secretive about the game and give these people your money? If this game is at number two on Steam right now, the only reason why these people probably keep putting out information is because they want to maintain that number two spot. Because when they put out again, I guarantee you they're going to put out pre-orders. And that's why I'm making this video to, to try to beg anyone. I know the majority of people aren't even going to listen. In fact, the, the algorithm may not even favor this video. But for anyone who does listen to it, I want to tell you, man, I don't believe this game is going to be anything like what they're trying to portray it to be i just i don't believe it i don't believe i don't even believe that what you see in the footage here i don't even i don't believe it's going to look I, I believe this game is going to be a huge disappointment but these people know that if they're at number two as steam's most anticipated game they know that if they put out pre-orders if they can maintain they can maintain that number two spot they know that if they put out pre-orders that they're going to make millions of dollars just off of the pre-orders. There's no way that these people are sitting here so anxious for this game, but when they see an, an opportunity to pre-order it, that they're not going to go out and purchase it. They're going to purchase it. And that's what I want to try to prevent. Just wait. I hope I'm wrong. I hope it comes out and I hope it looks like everything that it's going to be and I hope it's everything they're saying it's going to be. I just don't believe that it is. I don't know exactly how it's going to fall short, 
I'm just sure that if, if there was a stock for this, if, if you could short this game, like you can short a stock, I would put thousands of dollars into shorting this game. And, and I'm no rich person. I just really feel that this game is going to be a failure. But by the time everyone realizes it, you would have given them your money. And I think right now what they're trying to do, they're trying to, they're trying to make just enough of a good game so that it's not so obvious that they ripped people off. I think these people have an industry of, I mean, excuse me, I'm sorry. I think they have an interest of sticking around in the industry for future endeavors, but they find themselves in this situation with this game. They probably never even realized they would ever achieve being uh, Steam's uh, number two most highly anticipated game. So guys, just pump your brakes on this, pump your brakes on, on everything really going forward, man. You guys know my philosophy. The game, you don't need to pre-order these games. Like I said, unless you're, unless the game comes with things that you just really want, like, you know, you, like if you see uh, figurines and all of that, and you really want that stuff, regardless of how the game turns out, then that's different because you did get what you, you did get what you wanted. You kind of wanted the game, but you really liked the stuff that came with the game. So that's understandable. But if you just buying the game, that's it. Pump your brakes, man. Wait on this stuff to come out. How many times does this have to happen to us, even with companies that we know and know well, that have games in the past that we, we've played and we've loved and, and they brought joy into our lives, but still these companies, when they launch these games, they drop them on day one with so many glitches and the games are broken. And then you get upset. It would be different if you didn't get upset, but a lot of you do get upset. So you don't really like it when it happens. So the only way to keep that from happening to you is to just stop buying these games on day one. These games don't take long to download. It only takes a moment. And let's say even if it didn't, you know, let's say it take us a couple hours to download. Well, imagine if you're able to avoid buying a game that's broken, it's worth those two hours if you have to sit there. And, and you know, when you get up in the morning, you fix your coffee, just go ahead and get it started, man. Sit down and eat your breakfast, talk with your family or whatever. But there's absolutely no reason to get, get, keep repeating this cycle over and over again. You know, so look, that's all I wanna say. Just be weary of this game. Don't fall for it. And hey guys, look, I hope you had a great holiday and uh, I want you guys to have a, a, a great Monday. And you know, I just discovered that we're off today. So I didn't even know that. Well, I discovered it last night before I went to bed, but I thought I had to work today, but we don't. But anyway, guys, look, take care of yourselves. Be careful with these games that you're out here purchasing. And most of all, stay safe.